Well, I, I wouldn't get too bent out of shape about what Laura Ingram has to say. She has a specific point of view. She's not a straight news person. It's like, you know, on that network, they're, the reason they can call themselves a news network at all is because they do have a place for the news. For example, on Fox, there's Shepard Smith. That's a news guy. Gives you the news. Then they have their kind of their opinions section, which comes on in prime time usually. And that's like the op-ed section of a newspaper. So, for example, the Wall Street Journal is a credible source of information. And then they have the op-ed section, which is obviously very conservative and has a specific point of view. And that's what Laura Ingram does. She, she's a propagandist, as it were, who reflexively is going to defend um, the, at least putatively, Republican president, Donald Trump. Um, so for those who are getting all bent out of shape, you know, whatever. On the other hand, in terms of the content of what she said about LeBron James, um, you, you know, shut up and dribble, that network puts on as Chris Long, who, ju you know, I, just, I hate to sound patronizing toward athletes, but sometimes you feel proud of athletes. And Chris Long is one of them, particularly nowadays, Stephen A., a white athlete who is vocal about issues that, that overlap at least uh, with race and seems to be, um, seems to be, you know, socially conscious. So Chris Long tweeted out quickly a, a bunch of people who were on that network, not on Laura Ingram, Ingram's program, but that network, who should have just shut up and acted, right? John Voigt, shut up and kicked Chuck Norris, um, shut up and pitched Kurt Schilling. There, were, there are so many examples of, uh, shut up and sung or whatever, Ted Nugent. There are so many examples of entertainers and athletes who I haven't heard her criticize. Now, to be fair, maybe she did criticize them. Maybe Laura Ingram said, hey, you know what? Shut up and just do that thing that you do. But I haven't heard about it. It didn't make news, at least. And if she did, then I'd, I'd love to see where she did. It seems to me that she got, you know, very caught up in the fact that LeBron James took a position that disagrees with her own, that comes into conflict with her own. And then it's just shut up and do the thing that you do. Then it's you're ignorant uh, because you don't agree with me. When in fact, you know, let's face it, the kind of show she does is essentially propaganda. So, so either she has the intention of putting forth her point of view and editorializing, meaning giving more weight to the things that reinforce what she believes and less to the things that she doesn't, or that she has a problem with her cognitive abilities appreciating uh, and integrating information because the comments LeBron James made about Donald Trump are comments that many people are similar to comments that many Republicans have made publicly about Donald Trump to pretend that he is the same as Mitt Romney or John McCain, had they become president, is folly. It's clearly untrue. And, and Laura Ingram's trying to treat it that way. And people like LeBron James are saying, oh, 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 this is something different. This is not normal. He has the same right to say it as any of the other celebrities or non-political minds Stephen A. have to say when they agree with Laura Ingram or disagree with her. I have no problem with any of it. Uh, and, and I actually don't have that much of a problem with what Laura Ingram said because this is what she does. I'm not surprised by it.